Hey everyone, ChargePoint has had a difficult few years. In fact, the most recent quarter was so difficult that the CEO was replaced. The stock price is down from close to $40 per share down to $2.33 per share as of this recording. But where will stock price be in 2024? That is, where will ChargePoint stock price be in 2024? Well, that's what I want to answer in this video, incorporating some of the company's latest developments, analyst estimates for its revenue targets in 2024 and 2025, and the valuation premium that investors are willing to pay for ChargePoint stock. I'm going to bring all that together and give you a price prediction for ChargePoint stock in 2024. So this is going to be interesting. Let's get right into it. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So let's start by highlighting the revenue estimates that I will be using for 2024 and 2025. What I have here is the consensus estimates from analysts that follow ChargePoint stock on Wall Street. This is a collection of their, their revenue targets their revenue estimates, their revenue forecasts brought together and the average figure is highlighted here, 599 million of revenue forecasted for 2024 and 851 million of revenue forecasted in 2025. So the company is expected to continue its phenomenal growth. Also, I will be using weighted average shares outstanding provided by ChargePoint in their latest quarterly update. This is as of October 31st. They have shown us here that they have 376,182,783 weighted average shares outstanding. I will be using this figure in my assumptions as well. Also, I will be using ChargePoint's forward price to sales ratio. I will be using this as the multiple. This is trading currently at a 1.577 forward price to sales ratio. So now let's go to charge point and the valuation estimate. Okay, so let me draw your attention first to this picture here. I've got diluted shares outstanding 376, 182. Remember, I got that figure directly from ChargePoint that is provided from ChargePoint. And I'm going to assume that this stays constant over the next year, even though I think ChargePoint will be diluting shareholders significantly in the next year. I'm going to be a little more optimistic about the valuation and assume that it stays constant. Finally, Look at the revenue estimate here, 599 million. That was from the analyst targets I showed you earlier and 851 million for 2024 and 2025. And then when we take the revenue estimate divided by the shares outstanding, we get a sales per share number of $1.59 for 2024 and $2.26 for 2025. So I'm going to be using the forward price to sales ratio for 2024. So when you're using a forward price to sales, a one year forward price to sales ratio, if you want the price target for 2024, you need to get the sales estimate for 2025, always one year ahead. That's why I went ahead and pulled the one year ahead, the 2025 revenue estimate from analysts. So now when we come over here, I've pulled the $2.26 sales per share and I've combined it with the $1.5, the 1.577 valuation multiple. This is just a constant. I'm not changing it up or down. I'm just assuming it stays the same. If we assume that ChargePoint stays on track to hit its revenue targets in 2025 and the valuation multiple stays the same, the stock price could increase to $3.57 per share. Now that would be a meaningful increase from the $2.33 per share the stock is currently trading out. I think ChargePoint stock investors would be happy with that. If, however, things go even better than expected and investors are willing to pay more for ChargePoint stock, a price to sales forward of two, the stock price could increase to $4.52. If things get worse and investors are only willing to pay a price to sales forward of one, 
the stock price could go to $2.26. If things get much worse and the price to sales goes to 0.75, the stock price could fall to $1.70. So even in one of the worst case, well, a worst case among the four that I've considered in this scenario, charge point stock price going down to $1.70, I don't think that would be devastating for charge point stock investors that have seen the stock price fall from close to $40 a share down to $2.33 a share. Another 80 cents or 60 cents drop is not going to be devastating for charge point stock investors in this scenario. Now, before I highlight which one I think is the most likely, let's look at a few of ChargePoint's characteristics. And here I want to talk about economies in scale. Economies in scale is one of the most desirable characteristics you can find in an investment. In the example I have created here, sales grow from $100 in year one to $115.76 in year four while net income more than doubles from $4.50 to $9.47 in year four. This company demonstrates economies in scale. As its revenue grows, its profits grow by a larger magnitude. Not every company can achieve this kind of effective growth. Here's how it works. This is a typical categorization of an income statement of a publicly traded company. Cost of goods sold is what's called a variable expense. That means cost of goods sold is connected to sales. Other expenses like interest, general and admin, and depreciation are not connected to sales. You can see here depreciation stays the same at 25 whether sales increase or not. The same is true for interest expense. It stays the same whether sales grows or not. You can understand your interest payments do not increase when your sales increase. Overall, businesses typically have a mixture of fixed expenses that are unrelated to sales and variable expenses that are. When sales increase, the business leverages those fixed expenses as we see in this example and profits grow by a larger magnitude than the increase in sales. That being said, ChargePoint is demonstrating the opposite. They're demonstrating this economies in scale, meaning the more they grow, the more money they're losing on the bottom line. They're not structured in a way that allows them to demonstrate economies in scale and increase their profit as their sales grows. So they're not demonstrating effective growth. 435 million in operating income loss in the trailing 12 months. Also, cash flow from operations, similar story, 337 million negative and moving in the wrong direction quickly. So given these metrics and given the estimates for revenue in 2024 and 2025, if I had to say where I think charge point stock will be in 2024, I will say that charge point stock price is going to be around $2.50 per share. I would say that's going to increase slightly from the $2.33 per share. I think that it could go as high as $4.52 and it could go as low as in the $1 range, maybe even lower than that if things get really, really bad. But my average, my consensus my best guess given all of these scenarios would be that the charge point stock the midpoint of my estimate would be two dollars around two dollars and fifty cents in a range a very wide range of possible outcomes it could be really really low and it could be much much higher it's a very volatile company and it's a volatile stock and i expect that to continue throughout the next year at the very least so that's why I caution investors only look for charge point stock if you're willing to absorb the very high risk for the potential of a high reward in return. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.